So um, Bellark, a favorite of mine, that you know, it's one of these products that unless you've used it, you've probably never heard of it. Um, but Bellark Advisor is a program, once again, was aimed at the enterprise, given away free for end users to use. Um, it does an audit of your machine, your PC that you run it on, the network it's running on, and uh, pretty much everything else in your environment that it can get to. Uh, where this popped up for a lot of us recently was the Windows 8 to Windows 10 upgrade. Um, if you had an OEM uh, or if you had a, a tablet and you went to upgrade it, and depending on where you got your media to upgrade from, um, it might pop up and say, hey, put in your Windows password. Well, you don't have your Windows password because it's buried in the BIOS of the machine. Um, and and just a side note on that one, if you make sure to get an OEM copy of Windows 8 or Windows 10, um, those are smart enough to look in the BIOS for the Windows key. So uh, an OE, a, a true OEM version of Windows 8 or Windows 10 will look in the right spot in the BIOS, find the Windows key, and you won't get stuck with that. But one of the things I recommend before you do any PC system is run Bellarc on it because it will run through, tell you everything that's installed in your system, tell you every piece of software that's installed in your system, will find every license key that's on your system, and uh, you can get a printout of it, you can save it as a PDF, um, you know, phenomenal tool. And once again, with that back-to-school mindset, uh, my wife's niece just went back to veterinary school. I ran this on her machine, so now I have a copy right in front of me of everything that's on her system, everything that's working and functioning, and if she had a problem, I could uh, troubleshoot it remotely fairly easy with the information um, that I would probably have in Bellark here as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a great tool, Kevin. I, this weekend I downgraded uh, the, the broadcast server here from Windows 8.1 to Windows 7. I'm the only one going the other direction. Mm -hmm. Part of it was is that I realized when I upgraded to 8, I lost Media Center, right? Yep. And I, eh, during the spring and summer, I don't really care. I don't watch so much TV here. But, you know, we just drafted last night for our fantasy league here. Andy's in it. Mike's in it. I'm in it. Um, and all of a sudden, I'm like, crap, I've got to watch football. And I couldn't – I had nothing down here to get it done. And so I'm like, well, shoot, I'm going to downgrade. So you're always in the back of my mind when I think about reinstalling or if I got to do something with Windows. So Bellarc was the first thing to run. So I've got the Bellarc report right here. It's hard to see because the lights are bright. But here's the Bellarc right here, five pages of information about my PC and all the things that are installed. Super helpful when I was going to put Windows 7 back on, and I'm like, okay, what software did I have on there before? Um, for me, I didn't need to worry about the license keys as much as just remembering all the stuff I'd installed. So yep. go back through, go through the report, download the stuff. It is a pain to go back to Windows 7, by the way, because it takes like a half a day to get all the <laughs> to get all the fixes installed. Even on Service Pack 1, uh, I spent a ton of time getting it done. But Bellarc's the real deal. That is, I mean, that's, I think, the best tip here uh, in, in getting that done. It is a real deal when it comes to find, finding stuff on your PC. What I liked about it, too, I downloaded it and I ran it, and although the report was, you know, bulky at five pages, it did tell you, the software you have installed when the last time you used it was. Yes. So if it's been over 90 days, it throws up a few alerts there too, so you can see if you're you got some things just hanging out that you're not even using. Yeah. One of no, the no. Uh, one of the weird things I've used it for as well is it, over at a friend's house and they're having a problem with their router and and it's hey what's your router password? I don't well I don't remember what I changed it to or I don't re I don't remember what address it is login if you look through the script in Bellarc if it finds something like that it'll show it as a um, a web-based appliance and you just click on that hyperlink and it takes you right to the device now you still need to know the password and the login and everything but it saves you a lot of time finding those devices if you're on somebody's network who doesn't remember where they parked these things at or you know what IP they set it for so um, you know, very beneficial from that point of view um, in some of my more organized phases, I'm, I'm always good after building a machine, I'll run Bellarc on it, save a copy of that, and actually dump it in OneNote. And that way I've got OneNote files on every machine I've done, and I can see what they originally were set up as. And as Jim said, if you're going to tear a machine down, I really think it's a good idea to run it um, as well so that you gather up all the information off from that. Yeah, no, for sure. Super helpful, super handy. It, it, it's the first thing. It should be the first and the last thing you run, and then keep a copy of it somewhere. 